Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Under the Skin, a series that began with me taking a look at the legendary skins of Battlefield 1. But as I began to run out of legendary primary skins, I had to look for something else. Anything else. I had to take a look at the distinguished skins of Battlefield 1. I'm Christopher, the video game historian, and with this episode, I'm going to be taking a look at the Divana skin from the Model 1900, Moltke for the MG15, Mesopolonica for the Mondragoon, and Spion Cop for the C93. The Divana skin for the Model 1900 shotgun was slightly difficult to research due to the various figures with Divana as their surname. I did however manage to come across a reference to a hospital ship used in World War I called the SS Divana. Built originally by the Caird and Company in Scotland for the Peninsular and Oriental Steam Navigation Company, the ship was intended to be used as a passenger and cargo liner sailing from the UK to India. It was launched December 16, 1905, costing £159,249 to build. It weighed 8,100 tons with a length of 470 feet and a breadth of 56 feet. When the war broke out, it was requisitioned to be a troop ship in September 1914 and by April 1915, it was converted into a hospital ship. Shortly afterwards, it rescued the survivors of the Chantala, which was sunk by a torpedo on April 9th and dropping them off at Malta. During the Dardanelles campaign at Gallipoli, it assisted in landing the 12th Australian Battalion at Anzac Beach and remained there with its sister ship, the Dongola, until it was over. The Divana also saw service in the Persian Gulf, East Africa, Bombay, and Suez between 1916 and April of 1919 when it was converted back into a troop ship. In 1928, it was sold for scrap and demolished at Osaka, Japan. The Mesopolonica skin for the Mondragoon is another reference to World War I slang, just like some of the new sidearm skins. Like me, some of you may have thought that this was simply a typo by DICE for Mesopotamia. Others probably knew what this term meant or were smart enough to use Google, unlike myself. However, the name of the skin is again simple World War I slang and is simply a mashup of Mesopotamia and Thessalonica, forming the term Mesopolonica. This term would be used by soldiers, more so by the British and Commonwealth troops, who were being sent to the Middle East and to the Balkans, who didn't know where they were or where they were being sent to. As I mentioned in one of my other videos, if you want to know more about World War I slang, a good book on the subject is Tommy Doboy Fritz by Emily Brewer, which is a World War I slang dictionary and just 10 bucks on Amazon. The white and silver skin for the C-93 is the Spion Cop, a reference to the Battle of Spion Cop of the Anglo-Boer War of 1899-1902. This battle took place on January 23rd and 24th, 1900, as 1,700 British soldiers under the command of Major General Woodgate were marching towards the town of Ladysmith to relieve it of the Boers who had seized the town. On their way, they found that they could not advance into the town without having to pass through a row of four hills, which includes Spion Cop. Of the four hills, two had boars encamped on them, along with the one side of Spion Cop. Woodgate's plan was to advance up the other side of the hill, and with the commanding view at the top, be able to order artillery and infantry attacks on the exposed positions of the boars. The British made their way up the slope of the hill slowly, overrunning a small outpost on their way. When they finally reached the top, at dawn they found that they could only see 400 yards across due to the heavy fog. As the men were digging trenches to reinforce their positions, the fog lifted and they found that the Boers were right on top of them. With very little protection against the enemy, the British troops were slaughtered. A reporter for the Manchester Guardian had described the battle as an acre of massacre as 332 British men were killed with 563 
being wounded and over 160 being taken as prisoners. Finally, the last skin is the Moltke skin for the MG15, and is named after Helmuth von Moltke the Younger, who was the nephew of the great General Field Marshal Helmuth Karl Bernhard Moltke the Elder. Born in 1848, Moltke the Younger would be appointed as Chief of Staff for the German Army in 1906, after General Alfred von Schlieffen retired from service. This appointment was more or less done due to his namesake, as throughout his military career, he was often promoted to offices that he was largely unqualified for. Upon his appointment to Chief of Staff, he inherited the plans drawn up by von Schlieffen that detailed a plan for a war on two fronts that would result in a quick and decisive German victory. When the war broke out in August of 1914, Moltke put von Schlieffen's plan into action after revising it to meet current conditions. With the revised plans, Moltke allowed several of his commanders on the south wing to attack France rather than be defensive and sent them heavy reinforcements from the wing that was supposed to be flanking through the north. Several divisions were also sent out to the eastern front and these factors along with others resulted in Germany failing to capture Paris and being halted during the first Battle of the Marne. With his failure, Kaiser Wilhelm II replaced him with General Erich Falkenhayn as the Chief of Staff, which left Moltke as a broken man who died two years later in 1916. That's all for this week's episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed it, and if so, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and leave your comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on social media with Twitter and Facebook, as well as find me in the PS4 platoon, The Forum Fielders. I'm also on the Xbox One under the gamer tag Bacon Rebellions. I've also joined Discord this past week under the name Video Game Historian, so you can also get in touch with me there with the link to my server in the description. Until next time, I will see you on the battlefield.